I'm going to now to present you what's happening in the last years in terms of uh, innovations for our industry covered by copyright, so patented innovation. Let's see if it works. Yeah. So before we elaborate on the innovations that are covered, belonging to our industry that are covered, I just would like to provide you with a brief introduction on the patent classification, and then we will go through the innovations, the categories, and we can consider to take some conclusion. First point, how to assess which are the innovations patented? Well, we have a easy to assess, free of charge, and very efficient database, online database that is provided by the European Patent Office. By logging there and going to advanced search, one can have a clear understanding on everything, on all the innovations covered by copyrights worldwide, not in Europe, not in Asia, worldwide. But in order to be efficient, when we are looking at two innovations, we also need to follow certain rules. So we need to follow the cooperative patent classifications, which defines all the innovations. They are categorized according to several um, procedures. So from going to top to bottom, the lower we go down, the more detail is our search. So this is a typical tree of a pattern classification. You see B going down to B and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. The more we go down, the more detail and efficient is our search. This is exactly what we have done for our products. We have done it for our products, and the two major categories for our products are left side, energy efficient heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, so energy efficient HVSE, plus refrigeration machines, combined heating and refrigeration system, heat pump systems, so HVSE and R. Left side HVSE, right side R. But if you, as we want to be as detailed as possible, well, we consider additional subcategories. Energy efficient uh, um, products, okay, but in the lower stage, we see also right side hot water air central heating system using heat pumps. So efficient hot water heat pumps, all in all. In the middle, we see efficient domestic hot water supply using heat recovery units. Additional category, quite important for us. And then on the right side, efficient control regulation technologies, including control over refrigerant flow, control of motor, control of heating. These three are the major categories, major subcategories for HVAC efficient product. If we consider the, dot, the, the mother family, well, 2019, 2022, our industry has been quite prolific. We have been deposited, we, I mean, European members, European Middle East members, you deposited a lot of innovations. As an average, I can say, more than 10,000. This is in the mother company. But by going through into the details of the daughter classification, we see that hot water, air central heating system, heat pumps, not really prolific. We see that as an average, we can consider 400 patents per year. More, more prolific, the category related to heat pumps, domestic hot water supply, including heat recovery units. So energy saving. And we consider it here more, better and better than the previous subcategory. But on top of that, efficient control or regulation technologies, so refrigerant flow, control of motor, control of heating. This is the subcategory where our industry worked a lot and to be considered that also during the pandemic, our industry deposited a lot of patents, 5,000, more than 5,000, all in 2020. 4,400 in 2022, and we are still in September. Now let's consider the other. We focus on HVSE, now we focus on the R, on refrigeration. Same approach, we have uh, Mother classification and three daughters 
classifications. Other classification are refrigeration machines, then we have uh, compression machines with known reversible cycle. In the middle, compression machines with reversible cycle, which means heat maps. Compression machines with several condenser circuits. Well, mother category, more than 10,000 patents in all these years, a lot. More than 10,000 patented innovations. This is what it means. If we go down, compression machines with a known reversible cycle, quite a lot of innovations. But let's, consider, let's compare it with the category related to with reversible cycle. It goes up. It is not the same when we consider compression machines with several condenser circuits. It goes down. So all in all, we can consider that looking at the mother categories, around 9,500 patents as an average in the, in the four years we assessed. More than 10,000 for refrigeration in the four years we assessed. Looking at the efficient HVAC technologies, it's clear, 5% of water using heat pumps, 25% of water and heat recovery units, 51% efficient control or regulation like control of refrigerant flow, control of motor, control of heating. So on the right side in the bottom, this is where our industry is investing. Efficient control of refrigerant, of motors, or ratings. Our industry is focusing there. If we look at the refrigeration categories, our industry is focusing on reversible compression systems. It's clear. It was to be expected. Conclusion. Both the refrigeration and the climate industry, they are really at the forefront of our innovation. Also during the COVID, we kept this high level of granted innovations, granted patented patents. In the case of HVAC, efficient control of technologies played the major role. In the case of refrigeration, reversible systems plays the major role. Played, play, and will play, in my opinion. So both categories, in my opinion, will continue growing, will keep the lead at least for the time being, for the upcoming years. Thanks a lot.